Weekly update. What is this? Number 10. Yes, my precious. Yes. Well, uh, we got a lot of stuff to cover this week. Uh, first off, 10,000 subscribers. Thank you, everyone. And you are playing with my microphone. Don't play with the microphone. 10,000 subscribers. What a milestone. That is freaking awesome. And I want to thank each and every one of my loyal viewers for subscribing, liking, and watching. I, I really appreciate it. That's going to help me take the channel and uh, uh, my videos to the next level. Uh, next. I am up to one whopping referral. Thank you to the one person who's out there. Uh, whoever you are, if you want, uh, send me a message. I'd like to find out who it was. Uh, unfortunately, uh, within just a couple days of the start of the new second referral program, someone has already won, for the most part. Uh, in one day, that was Monday, somebody managed to get 14 referrals in one crack. Uh, apparently, uh, word on the grapevine is that it was a uh, fleet purchase. They referred somebody who was uh, re replacing fleet vehicles, uh, like, say, taxi company, something like that. We don't know the specifics. Uh, and me. Mum, 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 mum. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they got 14 at one crack. Uh, that was insane uh, they're not getting any thousand dollar kickbacks there's no uh, the referrer does not get a kickback this time around um, however you get the five you get a uh, I think a ticket to the gigafactory if you get 10 ticket to the model 3 premiere or debut showing uh, and then uh, first to 10 gets a power wall and the overall most by the end of the program, so most on a midnight uh, by 11.59 p.m. on December 31st wins a P90D with ludicrous mode. So it doesn't look like I will be winning that anytime soon. So I am still stuck in my Model S. Uh, next, I had to battle, and still am battling in a, in a way... Um, uh, copyright trolls, actually. Um, I use uh, royalty-free music in some of my videos uh, that are produced specifically for YouTubers like myself. Um, I'll give a shout-out, technoax.com. Uh, some great uh, uh, music and whatnot. However, there's a copyright troll going around uh, nabbing holiday-themed music uh, that is public domain. Uh, namely, uh, I just did the... Uh, Starbucks versus Tesla Red Cup video with uh, Silent Night, and I had another version of it. Um, and uh, Technoax produced Silent Night, so it's their their own pr uh, production or uh, performance, I should say. And uh, this copyright troll tried claiming it, and that almost got my channel shut down. I got copyright strikes, this, that, blah, blah, blah. It was a royal pain in the butt, and finally dug up their phone number. Mm -hmm. And within 30 seconds of me hanging up after leaving them a message, uh, because there is uh, Section uh, 512F of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, uh, false representations or false claims uh, entitles me or the, uh, the video creator or the person using the, the public domain works uh, to full, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, uh, Reparation? Rep no. Uh, full... Well, they'd have to pay me for all my lost revenue. Uh, and since that video was also uh, partially re about referring people, not just taking pot shots at Starbucks in their plain red cups, uh, I suppose uh, every person I would have referred that I could have gotten referred, you know, based off of my uh, record of 16 on the last referral program, um, I could have... Uh, gotten uh, 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 reimbursement for the losses of those two. 
So within 30 seconds of me leaving their voicemail yesterday, uh, after finally digging up, um, the company is called AdRev, and they have apparently have a history of doing this. Uh, literally all the uh, copyright claims that they made against my account magically disappeared. So uh, if anybody else is having problems like that, let me know, and I'll send you uh, the exact blurbage from the Digital Millennium Copyright Act to help you out. Uh, next, I discovered uh, at least the classic Model S's have a potentiometer on the brake pedal. I was able to... No, no, no. I was able to record... Um, uh, now that uh, the even the classic and single motor Model S's have torque sleep, I was able to record uh, or measure uh, the amount of power used at a stop um, by varying the brake pedal um, using that in conjunction with uh, Remote S third-party uh, Tesla uh, app. Um, so apparently uh, there is a potentiometer or, or a pressure sensor of some sort that's not just an on-off switch, but actually can uh -uh, that but can actually tell how much pressure you're putting on the brake pedal, which is neat. Uh, at the moment, it's kind of useless because Tesla doesn't use uh, brake pedal pressure to determine um, regenerative braking since everything's done through the go pedal. Uh, but um, I suppose with the torque sleep, it, it's helping now. Um, let's see, uh, some information on the Model X. Uh, apparently, uh, well, the Founder Edition cars that were delivered during the, uh, the big release or... Uh, 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 um, review video or a review event uh, had 72 amp uh, a single char ah. single charge oh you're so happy 72 amp single chargers uh, unfortunately Tesla decided we're not going to do 72 amp chargers anymore the idea was they're going to get rid of having to have a dual charger uh, to get the 80 amps so instead of a single 40 amp charger they were going to do a single 72 amp charger otherwise it would have been two 40 amp chargers to get 80 amps however they changed their minds and they decided yeah they decided to go with a single 48 amp charger that's very very disappointing um and uh, apparently it's causing quite a bit of uproar and um there is going to be well there's a lot of polls you know a lot of feedback going to tesla a lot of people just aren't happy and Personally, I, I got my car with a single charger, and uh, after my first long road trip, which was the Niagara Falls road trip, uh, as soon as I got back, I made an appointment for two things. One, get WeatherTech floor mats, which were awesome, by the way, and two, to get the dual charger installed, and it has made a night and day difference on every road trip I have taken. Even though there's superchargers everywhere, destination charging is still not up up to snuff and uh, a few high powered stations that I I did use uh, made the difference between being at a stop for two hours you know and then getting a charge up while I was eating and then walking the kids um, or uh, you know spending that having to spend the night somewhere charging up in seven to twelve hours so I mean Big difference, big big difference. Um, that would have been a night and day change to my Niagara Falls road trip. I would have had a whole extra day there if I had a dual charger at the time and to be able to use the Sun Country Highway stations. Uh, it was all, it was definitely a big help uh, in uh, Charleston uh, where we used a, a high powered wall station downtown that was at 68 amp uh, setting. Uh, and uh, that saved me from having to uh, camp out at a Nissan dealership overnight. Uh, let's see. Uh, Veterans Day was this, this week. Uh, last year, Tesla painted and did full out decked out a Model S in uh, uh, military style. Uh, this year, they did the Model X in honor of the American veterans. Uh, it was awesome, and uh, if I had the money, I would probably have my own vehicle looking just like that, too. What are you doing, you little munchkin, you? You're just snuggling up. Say hi, Vinny. Yeah, you're a happy boy. Uh, let's see, next on the list. 
I'm getting a little better at this. I'm making lists and I'm checking them twice. I just wish I could read my own handwriting. Um, uh, let's see. I got a trade offer for my Model S after talking with Tesla about a lot of the issues that I've had. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they did decide to go the very low ball offer. Uh, let's put it this way. My blue book on my car is between fifty and 55000 uh, not even including all the extras that are on my car. Uh, whereas Tesla's offer was thirty six. That's insulting. What was even more insulting was CarMax, uh, who people have said they've had extremely good luck with, giving me an offer of about 30000 So I'm going the private party method. If anybody's interested in purchasing my car, it's for sale. For sixty grand, takes it right now. Um, got tow hitch, uh, lighted Tesla T on the front, window tinting on the, all the rear windows. Uh, I got the uh, lighting. Uh, the, only, uh, the only thing, I, uh, well, WeatherTech floor mats, brand new tires, aero rims. Uh, I'll even throw in this, the center console. Um, so, I mean, it's it's got a lot. only thing it doesn't have is the original tech package. Uh, not the performance edition and no air suspension. So, uh, at least you don't have to worry about an air suspension breaking. I try, I do what I can. Let's see. Ah, tomorrow is Sunday. Sunday, tomorrow is hydro plant day. Um, as long as my guide will be available and, and no, no, nothing changes our plans. Oh, the train's just pulling in the station. Gino's clock. But as long as uh, weather stays good and uh, plans don't find themselves abruptly changing, uh, we will be visiting a hydroelectric plant tomorrow, uh, which is uh, some historical significance. It is the first hydroelectric plant in the world. And it's located right here in Appleton, Wisconsin. So uh, uh, we're going to tour that video from that little trip will be coming. Uh, it looks like a few of the other Wisconsin Tesla owners um, will be, might be meeting me there. Um, but we'll have to see. I got to talk to the gentleman that is going to be my tour guide. And uh, let's see things happening today. I'm going to take the boys to the uh, one of the biggest model train shows in the world at the Wisconsin State Fair Park. You have something to say? Oh, now you're not going to say anything. Oh, okay. Nice, Daddy. Nice, Daddy. Oh! Was that funny? You smile. Yep. Uh, let's see. Oh, now that I'm at 10,000 subscribers, I had to hit that milestone to unlock some other YouTube features for myself and expand my channel. Um, I've decided I'm going to start an additional channel uh, start offloading some of my uh, non-automotive related videos onto a new channel. So I will be... Not yet, because you're going to knock the camera over. That's why you're sitting on my lap. Um, such as uh, my train videos. I do a lot with my other... Fav my, my, other my two favorite uh, methods of transportation. One's electric, the other one's steam. So my other channel is going to be about steam and steam trains, any anything de dealing with trains. I'm going to have a train channel. I'll uh, get that started, and then I guess I'll start another one for scooters or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but uh, just try to start keeping things separate. Uh, once I start getting that going, I will let you all. So if, you got any, if any of you are train enthusiasts, let me know. Oh, no, I travel video. Most of my travel videos are Tesla-related, so never mind. Uh... And lastly, picked up my car Monday uh, with uh, drive unit number four was in, had been installed. And uh, it was great for about the first three minutes. It's exactly a 60.1 mile drive home from the service center. By the time I got home, drive unit number four was already starting to fail. And it's got the milling noise. And uh, it's different than the drive unit number two I had that had the milling noise which was that one was number two was more of an electric electrical 
noise, where this one sounds more mechanical. So service center's been alerted. So chances are, well, I'm almost going to guarantee by the end of 2015 and less than one year, I will have had five drive units in my car. So I will keep you all updated on that. Uh, can you think of anything else, little, little man? No? Give a little smile. Give a little smile. Come on, can you say something for the camera? Okay. All right, on to the train show. Have a great weekend, everybody. You, you're crazy.